Hey guys, so this is my one week review into War Visions opinion. If it's free to play, is it worth trying? I would say yes, it's free to play. And they give you a lot of shards. Like in the beginning, after finishing all the missions, I got like 30k shards just saving them up. But the bad thing about it is that they do split it into paid and free versions. So like if you go into the shop and you go to the one of these shards, it says paid version 60, free, VZR 60. So the difference between that is that when you try to summon something, when they have these special units, like today they they did a new update and and they give you this 10 times 7 for 2,000 gems. So you can only use the paid versions for it. You can't use the free versions for it, which is pretty lame, but it's definitely not groundbreaking or game breaking where you know well is gonna take over the place the other thing is that when you do buy gems they do um give you a royal rank system so everybody starts at royal rank one which give you like all these right here 1.5 speed functions unlock plus one possible high speed expedition by consuming v0 for chewbacca expedition um they're not that great and they don't do that much because if you go to my rank six benefits um it's the same thing plus six possible high speed expedition by consuming v0 for chewbacca expeditions um it might sound like a lot but if you go to the expeditions it basically means that i get to pay more v0 right here for high speed expeditions which don't give that much out in the first place so so yeah it's not much of a, of a difference so it's definitely not free to pay so if you're into tactics game like final fantasy tactics advance a2 fire emblem then you'll probably love this game as i feel like it's a lot more polished and the mechanics are a lot more in depth than fire emblem without getting into it just the crafting process the working leveling, leveling up your characters the skill trees um, remains a lot to be desired. Um, the skill tree is very, very um, advanced. So we'll look at one of these skill trees for Medina right here. Um, if you go to her abilities, there's a lot of different skills that you could turn her into, right? And she has three different jobs, which is Black Mage, Green Mage, and Ninja. So you could build around six or seven different ways and turn it into basically seven different characters if you wanted to, right? So this game is a lot more polished than um, other tactics games since you could do more with different builds and compositions, which is good because in games like Fire Fantasy, um, or not Fire Fantasy, but um, Fire Emblems, um, the AI is easily predictable and it's pretty one dimensional. I know because I spent over like 10k on my Fire Emblem account and things are still very much one dimensional. You're basically just pulling dupes for no viable skill tree, which leaves the games too easy to play and too predictable. The two promoted Shadowbringers unit, um, Shadow and Dankrate are decent. They're not OP, but the game do give you ample opportunity to limit break them into their foolish, which you can't say by any other character. So as you can see from my Ushara, um, I already let fully limit breaker. And the difference between, you know, not limit breaking or fully limit breaking is of course you get more stat bonuses, but then on these um jobs skill trees right here, you could max it to all the way to 15. And when you get them to 15, then um, you could unlock some abilities that you can't, like, let's say there's um, Sky and Spire. Um, you need to be fully awakened, and I'm pretty sure you need to be at least a certain amount of level of your job class in order to just unlock that skill also, right? And for Dancred, he's pretty... He's pretty good. So um, even though she's only mega rare, I will still invest all my time during this event to fully awaken her and fully limit break her because she's going to be useful in different raids um, later down the road. And she's going to be a lot stronger than your ultra rare units that you can't limit break. Like Medina, like I can't limit break her at all because it's crazy hard to get her shards, even though they do have a quest 
this quest right here where you could farm her shards um twice a day you only get in one or two shards a day if you're lucky so um so she's pretty locked so you can see that i can't av advance her past level six because she's not a limit broken unlike um Yushana, which i could go to seven or 15 at this point for Thurn Thread, he is ultra rare and he is he is a little bit hard to farm, but it's not impossible. Um, he does have really good abilities, um, especially jump, which is for good for PvP because um, basically you jump in the air and you can't be attacked, and then you attack him, and it's um, it's a range attack, so it's two squares, right? So he's pretty good in this self right? So he's not he's not bad, but he's not meta breaking. But I was still awaken him. And full of limit break him to as much as it can before the event is over. And you still have like 10 days until the event is over. So you still have a long time right now. So they're pretty good. So I would um, definitely invest in them. Um, if you're one of those people who read every line of the story and like follow every single word that a character says, then you'll be kind of, dis kind of disappointed because they don't really put the story well together. And you'll be a bit left confused but if you're casual and you go along with the story it's pretty entertaining um take that word green as talk because if you dig into any story there's always be holes in the story when you start diving into the game especially if you're free to play you need to learn how to allocate your sources uh, your resources just like any other game right because there's no that's no big deal here because um because the the resources start do they do get scarce so it's hard to farm some of these um some of these um, materials to um, enhance your job um since since NRG it's limited and it's fixed unless you're spending money to um you know restore them every single that every single day to continue to farm these characters it's gonna be pretty hard so i would just stick to one character you like and start maxing the shit out of them. Um, so I'll be releasing other videos on how to efficiently farm and team building strategies later on. So just check them out. Um, I would say overall the gameplay is pretty fun. It's simple but really complex once you dive into it. The emanation is and our style is nice. It's not choppy and pixelated. Um, my advice is to just jump into the game and get a feel for it. And um, look out for my beginner's guide on what to do and what not to do. Alright, thanks.